Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars, a cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today, we, Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are at and get you right out of the way. Thank you, Julio Cesar, Chavez, Rodriguez, Jorge Johnson, and a few other names he's got. Hey guys and gals, Sweet Project Cars here with the old blue bomber. We had to bring it in the garage here for major surgery. We ran the codes and we're going to have to dig into this beast. We plugged this little bugger in. It told us exactly what we needed right from my phone. I emailed it to myself. All right, here is the scan. We're going to go over it here real quick. And it shows the vehicle, year, and all that stuff. But here's what we ran into. Hopefully you can see this. Two open injectors, one and three, and an air intake sensor, high voltage, and the map sensor voltage too high. So we're going to dig in. But it was nice just to email this to myself. I can take it right out in the garage, stick it on the wall, and I won't make any mistakes. All right, we're going to test the injectors to see which one is causing us problems. Best way to do it is put the injectors back in the fuel rail and check each one. Now, if you watch that right there, if you can see it, what we're looking for is one that's different by quite a bit. We're looking for about 11.8, 11.7, 11.8, 11.9. Same, same. Now this is the oddball one that they replaced. And you just take your probes, touch them on each side. Doesn't matter which way you put it, red or black. 11.7. So here's what it tells you. When you have your vehicle running rough and you think it's your injectors and you're getting the code uh, telling you open circuit on your uh, one of your injectors, we have an open circuit on one and three. You can get remanufactured injectors. I can get all of these for about 70 bucks, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's the deal. We tested them all. They all read the same, except the new one on the other side. What does that tell you? That tells you that there's not an electrical problem with the injector. It tells you that the injector is solid. The, the resistance is solid on all of them. You can see it operating and the stream is not good that thing is definitely clogged up they're all clogged i can show you how i did this build in the next video if you want to know how to do it let me know i know it's kind of specialty this is how you clean them very simple hey guys and gals sweet project cars here and i want to share this with you on how we actually clean these we used the fuel rail we pushed every injector back in and they're all clogged they're shooting streams that are not even close but we have a really unique way we did it to get the cleaning solution through it. And we have a special mix for this. You run it through, you let it set for a day. You let them set in the injectors for a day in the fuel rail. And that will clean them right up like you've never seen before. And I kid you not, you know all our mixtures work like a charm. We've been at this a long time. But in, the, in another video, I can show you how we built this so you can do it right outside. And of course, you would turn the fuel rail upside down so it was spraying in a container. And you can wire every one of the injectors if you want so that you can do them all at one time and be done with all six or all eight of them at one time. Let them set so you're not connecting wires and disconnecting wires. It works like a charm. If you look at this one right here, as I showed you earlier, this one right here, See, the stream is not even right or close. Coming way over here on this side, and then a straight stream there. But they're all clogged. This is just plain water that I'm using. 
but I am going to clean them and I'm going to run the cleaning solution through it. You're gonna love it, I'm telling you. Let me know if you want me to show you how to do the build. It's real simple. Build is about 30 minutes to make this happen and you can use the fuel rail right out of the car and hook it right up to it like we've got here. And you can mount it wherever you wanna mount it. Uh, again, you would flip this over. So just let us know. You know we're always coming up with really cool things and trick ways to do things. Hence the name of Sweet Project Cars. All right, here is the mixture for the fuel injector cleaner. We've done this for years. It works great. If you run this through the system that we're going to share in how to build your injector cleaner machine, let it set. Like I said, the longer you let it set, the better. If you can let it set two, three days in the injector, you'll be good to go. So what you're going to use is six ounces of any transmission fluid. Then you will use your sea foam or whatever is close to sea foam. This is Walmart's brand here. I happen to have a can of it, a couple cans of it laying around. Didn't have any sea foam left. One can of your sea foam, and you're ready to go. Pump that through using the machine or however you want to get it through the injector. Run it through for about 10, 15 seconds, and you can reuse this because in the system I built, there is a filter at the bottom of the pickup hose inside the container that will hold this. Very ingenious, I think, and it works great. We've never had an injector not spray perfectly every time we've done this. This is it, that's your mixture. Blue Bomber out, Sweet Project Cars out. Mm -hmm.